Welcome to the Radio Pro series of online videos. Radio Pro is a set of radio over IP software applications that run on Windows PCs and notebooks, as well as iOS and Android devices to enable you to communicate with two-way radio users. Part one of this two-part video demonstrated how easy it is to download, install, and run the Radio Pro dispatch application on your PC or notebook. This video is part two and will show the configuration steps for recording the incoming and outgoing audio, as well as configuration of a microphone. Before continuing, we recommend that you have already watched part one of this video series. To make changes to the recording parameters, the software must be in edit mode. To change to edit mode, click on the file menu and choose edit. The demo version of the software does not utilize a password. However, if you are making changes to software that has been installed with a license, then a password will probably be needed. Edit mode is enabled when there is a field of dots on the radio controllers panel as shown here. To configure a microphone and speakers, click the options menu, hover over audio presets, and then choose configure. On the Devices tab, edit the name of the preset name. Next, choose a microphone from the Mic In drop-down list. Also choose a playback device from the drop-down list for Select Out, Unselect Out, and Intercom Out. Then click the Save button on this audio configuration window. Next we will configure history logging. This will allow us to record and play back recorded audio files as well as other radio events such as GPS positions, emergencies, call alerts, and text messages. Click the options menu, choose dispatch settings, and then choose the history logging folder. On the history logging setup window, Enable the option with a check mark in the option box. Next, choose a storage location by using the Navigate button. After you click the OK button, the software will determine if the location is suitable by measuring the access speed. Click the Apply button to finish the configuration and to close the history logging setup window. Finally, Exit the edit mode by clicking on the file menu and then choose save. Alternatively, if you wish to save this layout with a different file name, choose save as. You should now be able to play back voice recordings by selecting one from the recent history panel and clicking the play button. The archive and reports buttons in the main toolbar should also be available for you to use. Thanks for watching.